Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. It's a chilly morning in the Mid-South. We've gotten a decent amount of showers out there, and we've even had some freezing rain potential for parts of the area, but that should be going away as we go into the next couple of hours as we see, again, the potential for warmer weather taking over the Mid-South, and that gets rid of that frozen rain potential out there. So less in the way of slick spots, but still that potential for about the next hour or so. We're on the air just past about eight o'clock early Friday morning and again for right now outside of the showers there's really not that much else out there clouds are actually breaking up a little bit across the area but not by much and we'll be seeing more cloudy skies throughout the course of the rest of the day today so if you have any plans for outdoors may want to go ahead and take that umbrella along with you just to be on the safe side we'll keep you updated on the forecast as we go throughout the rest of the next couple of days net casting on both WREGs and my Facebook page welcome to every Everybody who's tuning in for this morning, if you got a weather report, drop them into the comments section. Would love to see where you're checking in from, whether it's in the Mid-South or points beyond. Again, we cover West Tennessee, North Mississippi, Eastern Arkansas, and Memphis, Tennessee right there in the center. And as of right now, 8 o'clock past the area around the central time zone, looking at some fairly cool conditions throughout the rest of the morning. But numbers will be rising to about the lower 50s, very close to where we should be for this time of the year. So decently normal as we head toward this afternoon and this evening. Unfortunately, the kids heading back from school might need some rain protection out there as we see again the potential for some more scattered showers across the Mid-South. Not great chances, but again, could be a possibility out there and definitely could be a lot worse uh, at this time of the year such as William Skage checking in from uh, Detroit, Michigan. 18 degrees, snow on the way, 5 to 8 inches expected starting later tonight. Uh, stay safe in that winter weather area. Sir, thank you very much for checking in from up north. Welcome to everybody else uh, for checking in across the Mid-South. And Again, got some weather reports. We'll read them off uh, as we go along in the course of our weather blog here. Temperatures back in the lower 60s yesterday, way above normal for this time of the year. We'll be heading back to those numbers as we go into tomorrow and decently above normal on the low temperatures out there. No rain. We're above for the year already by about two and a third inches. We're going to be going well below these temperatures as we go into the next several days as we watch some winter weather heading our direction or at least winter temperatures anyway not so much winter weather out there anytime soon from what it looks like right now air quality in the metro again for a large metropolitan area we do tend to get a lot of air pollution thanks to the uh, clearing conditions out there with the colder, drier air sweeping on through and the rainfall. We're not seeing too much of a problem for right now. So air quality index, according to the EPA, is at good or green levels. Air pollution is no threat for today. So again, good news uh, for the Mid-South area around the metro for right now. Sunshine coming down into the trees around Oxford in North Mississippi from the University of Mississippi looking at the trees in the grove and some sunshine bit brisk in northern Mississippi but one of the warmest temperatures out there back into the lower 40s across uh, much of the area for right now temperatures a little bit lower than that olive branch with more cloud cover out there from squawk 1111's weather underground web camera back into the mid to upper 30s out there for right now and also seeing again some temperatures quite much on the mild side for the rest of the next couple of days sandy sweatman brunson lower 60s wear uh, in and around the Memphis metro area very early yesterday morning before the colder air settled in across the Mid-South. Looking at the Memphis International Airport area, showers earlier, cloudy skies right now, and no delays to report at this point in time. Airport delays of 15 minutes or less, so everything moving along quite nicely. And no delays to report at any of the major or connecting airports across the Mid-South, so definitely some good news for the travelers out there from what it looks like for right now. Likewise, Baptist DeSoto camera, height of rush hour around I-55 and Goodman Road. Everything moving along quite nicely with relatively dry roadways at this time. Now we do have again a little bit more in the way of precipitation across the Mid-South of a liquid variety, but it's been cold enough in that pink area right there that the computer that runs the radar is showing rain in the green changing over to that rain, freezing rain, sleet mixture from West Tennessee back into northeastern parts of Arkansas and the Missouri Boot Heel. Now we've had no reports of anything on the ground, so very light precipitation, but until the temperatures go up 
over freezing for everybody in this area. There is still the possibility of some slick conditions, especially northeast Arkansas, southeast Missouri, and northwest Tennessee. So if you're traveling in or through those areas, please use caution. Now again, the southern parts of that area not seeing that much of a problem at this time, but we are monitoring for anything going on out there, including a new winter weather advisory that was issued for Craighead County. That's in effect until 9 o'clock this morning. So if you have any plans for anything, driving north of Jonesboro, uh, north of the Boot Hill, northwest to Missouri and southern parts of Arkansas, this is where you may see some slick spots early this morning. Now going north of that, farther north into around the rest of the Midwest, I-70, the upper Mississippi Valley, the Midwest area back toward the Dakotas, plenty of winter weather advisories taking place, including some blizzard warnings out across the northern Plain states. This winter storm is active, and it's going to be sending a lot of problems to travelers, again, north of St. Louis to Kansas City. Anything in about the next 24 hours from west of the Great Lakes to east of the Rockies is going to be seeing some pretty good travel problems, slowdowns, and maybe a decent amount of accidents if everything holds because this winter weather situation could slow travel down a lot in the next couple of days. So if you're heading this way, know anybody who's going north of the Mid-South into this mess, definitely want to pay attention to what the weather is doing out there. Now, we're not going to see anything in the way of winter weather, but the system coming Coming on through will be bringing us more rain chances and behind this system cold air wrapping around the back side of this will be dropping our temperatures into next week including for the holiday on Monday so we could be looking at some much colder weather heading on through lower 30s out there check out the winds we're seeing some winds over 20 miles per hour this morning and continuing again to see some pretty chilly conditions for now milder into the next day or so but then much colder conditions as we go past Sunday and into the rest of next week warming back up again so a pretty decent knockoff on the temperatures coming up pretty soon now through the rest of the day the umbrella might want to go ahead and keep that handy just in case as we see those chances of showers off and on throughout the rest of the day through midday and right on into the time where the kids have to head home from school so there could be the potential of kind of a wet trudge home from the schoolroom later on today or some quick mad dashes from the school to the waiting cars in the car rider line but we're not going to be seeing the temperature a problem because as the southerly winds return, we're not looking at anything in the way of frozen precipitation anywhere in the Mid-South. Liquid rain, yes. No winter weather expected past about mid-morning this morning. Now through this evening, the southerly winds stabilize the temperatures and we see again the potential for some very mild numbers overnight. Lows only dropping into the lower to mid-50s. Now tomorrow, just past about daybreak or so, we look back to the north and we start to see the winds turning out of the northwest. That's a part of that storm system coming on through. That's the colder air that will be arriving into tomorrow afternoon and evening. So if you have any plans for outdoors tomorrow, good day for indoor activities just to be on the safe side for right now. So what we're seeing is, again, the potential for that colder weather arriving into the course of the next couple of days. Sherelle Riley, if it's going to be cold, may as well snow or give us the 60-degree weather back. Uh, no snow out there for right now, but, again, we are just into winter. Got about two months left, so we, anything's possible for right now. So we'll continue to monitor that and let you know more about what's coming our way. Severe threat at this time, nothing showing up. West of us this afternoon and this evening could be some thunderstorms. Just again, generic thunderstorms possible. No threat of severe weather here. Passing through the Mid-South tomorrow, again, could be some thunderstorms as that front rumbles on through, but mainly rainfall. And by Sunday, everything is pretty much over with. We're not seeing anything uh, in the way of precipitation coming up that's going to be of a severe nature, so some good news on that. Rest of the forecast, again, through daybreak and into the rest of the day today. Should be seeing some pretty mild conditions out there, right about normal on temperatures as those southerly winds continue and scattered showers off and on throughout the rest of the day today. Now tomorrow, winds again out of the south will keep our temperatures up into the lower 60s with more showers and pretty breezy winds as well. By Sunday, that colder air arrives in the morning, looking at temperatures for highs some 20 degrees cooler by Sunday and pretty chilly for the rest of the day 
clearing skies out there so at least you can open up the blinds and the drapes and get some free solar heating going on that'll help your utility bill out for just a little bit the rest of the forecast including martin luther king jr day on monday we see temperatures much colder as the full force of that cold air rolls on through just north of us now we won't see much colder than this but north of us as that storm system rolls on through there's a very good possibility that we could see some below zero temperatures way up toward the great lakes chicago the upper midwest much colder weather up there here in the mid south it's going to be just above freezing for monday so for all the volunteer activities coming up making it a day on for service instead of another day off if you're doing anything outdoors you're going to need to bundle up because we'll be seeing some winds a little breezy in the morning wind chills dropping into the lower 20s so definitely want to prepare for that if you're doing any volunteer work outside as we go into the next couple of days after that things start to warm up closer to mild and looking at pretty nice sunshiny days in the middle part of this next week then we see more showers return by next thursday friday some more rainfall out there more widespread and then leaving the area cloudy skies for next saturday as we start to again wrap up january and head toward february some pretty mild numbers overall Again, with the exception of some cool spots out there, we have seen a very mild January, all things considered, for the entire Mid-South. So looking again at some pretty mild conditions out there for now. Don't forget, again, we are in the prime severe weather season. So now, when nothing is going on, is the time to get ready for severe weather. Sign up for Weather Call as Tim and Jim will call you when severe weather threatens. Sign up today, find out more details at WREG.com. Click on weather and sign up for the service. Great opportunity to stay ahead of the game. And, of course, you can catch our forecast as well. That's always available at WREG.com slash weather on your computer or your mobile devices on there for, again, checking out what goes on there. One last check of the forecast through the afternoon. More scattered showers, not a deluge, not a wipeout for outdoor activities, but you will be ducking and diving the raindrops throughout the rest of the day today. And right on into this evening, the rain chances will continue and increase as we go into Saturday morning. So be prepared for some wet roadways, slow travel conditions, and outdoor activities. The farther you go into tonight, doesn't really look like we are going to be seeing anything in the way of dry conditions out there uh, for right now. Deborah Allen, believe we are going to get some snow soon. It's possible, but not with this forecast for right now, but that's good positive thinking on there. So again, keep that in mind for uh, the next couple of days. Hopefully things change by just a little bit. For the holiday on Monday, again, it is going to be a chilly one out there with temperatures for highs just above freezing. So we are going to be seeing the potential for some very cold weather to be sticking around the Mid-South. Now again, not as bad as it could be. This time of year, we can get winter weather. We can get severe weather. So for the holiday, this time around, it's not that bad. Chilly and dry Yes, chilly at least, but also dry, so that should help again. Outdoor activities, not that much of a problem. Definitely want to bundle up out there and make certain everybody's properly dressed. Gloves, hats, scarves, you're going to need it with the temperatures out there and with those winds continuing out of the north at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So please keep that in mind. I'll have updates on your forecast coming up on News Channel 3 live at 9, also on News Channel 3 at noon. Tim Simpson and Jim Jaggers just back from the American Meteorological Society Conference in Boston. He'll be back with the newscast for tonight. And, of course, I'll have your forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3, so stay tuned for updates on that winter storm as it moves on through. Questions, ideas, again, anything you'd like to see on here, drop me a line at austin.onic at wreg.com. would love to hear more about what you think of our weather blog and how we can improve it to keep you tuning back in again so please drop us a line and let you let us know what you think about everything currently again in the mid-south a little on the rainy side and chilly we'll update you on the forecast coming up on live at nine and news channel three at noon so stay tuned for more on that thanks for joining us everybody live and direct from downtown memphis tennessee i'm meteorologist austin onick more coming up on news channel three on air and online throughout the rest of friday and right on into this weekend thanks for joining us